Okay, 99 cent combat. Something I created probably in 1996-ish or somewhere around there. Way back when. Back when I was still using Amiga all the time. Now to play this game you have to have this uh, like a uh, all installed in, uh, on a drive here and have an assign. The assign here is to com and and any is what I just named the volume where I put the the game itself and uh, got to make sure to point it to the folder 99 com ver 10 com version 10 and uh, once you got that you can just click 99 boot ignore the kibble thing I think that was a joke I put in for myself I have no idea what it's supposed to load and now the opening screen here plus and minus will adjust the speed depending on your processor this is a stock 500 that's running at normal speed so it, as you see it's still running at a great uh, it, it, it runs really well on a stock 500 but obviously on a, a modern Amiga it's going to be much worse now I'm just trying to show um, what one player mode if you press just space brings you into one player a uh, two player mode where you, two people can go head to head now I just want to show some of the moves here you got the jump the jump kick Get the punch, uh, and there's two punches if you notice. There's two in there. You gotta get the right rhythm to get both of them to go at the same time. There's a front kick, there's a high kick, which is really hard to see because it's moving so fast, but uh, I'll slow it down. If you press pause at any time, press P, you can adjust the speed again with a plus and minus. Now, um, here we go. Here's the jump, here's the punches alternating. There's a front kick, a high kick, there's a low kick, you know, the good shin kicker, and of course the, the famous uppercut from Mortal Kombat, the big move, and if you notice there, there was a foot sweep there. Foot sweep's really hard to do because you have to press down and the button at the same time while not ducking. So if you duck first, then you can't do a foot sweep. And then there's a block. It's uh, like back in the button or something. Or, down the button, I don't know. Um, get back to normal speed here and actually play the game. Okay, so left and right selects through the different players AL lock, D man, exit, razor. These are four of the five band members. Uh, Amy was never <coughs> in here. It would have been nice to get her in here. Um, if you just press the button twice, it will go into one player mode. And uh, I'm going to select Razor as my opponent. And if you notice, he's really large. He's, uh, he's much larger than the rest of us. And it's not that he isn't normal in real life. It's just that uh, when I digitize him again, the, the scale was off. And, uh, this is before the days of Photoshop and all that sort of thing. Well, at least I wasn't using Photoshop. And um, not yet. And... I was doing all these manually on uh, the Amiga, all the editing, pixel by pixel, silhouetting each of these objects. And if you notice Ray's animation here, that's from the original one. I just loved it so much, the, how goofy it was, and so I kept that, and that's why it keeps flashing between it, even though it's a big block. But uh, it just, just cracks me up, the way he looks. And he shrinks down to normal size when he gets hit. He's wearing, a, as he calls it, the Shit Kicker 2000s and his, his sneakers. He came down to visit me in North Carolina in 1999 and we refilmed all his moves. We tried to uh, emulate his uh, outfit as much as possible, but the original version he's wearing is Nut Hugger bike pants or something. And this one he's wearing jeans. But anyway. Uh, Still fun. I'm getting to kick the shit out of him pretty easily because it's uh, the beginning of the game. It gets progressively harder the more you go. The uh, computer actually starts to use different moves, more complicated moves, and actually becomes more of an asshole. <laughs> so, and uh, I, I love having all the blood fly everywhere. That was one of my favorite little features I added into this. There we go. Sorry, Ray. Killed you. Now there are fatalities in here, but unfortunately, um, I can't remember how to do them exactly. Whoop, jumped off the screen. And, uh, 
there aren't any frames from the animations. No, Stickman here. Darren, being the drummer of the band, Stickman. It only makes sense to make his character Stickman since we never captured any frames and do a little thing. I like his little foot sweep or whatever that is, the low kick. He's like squashing your foot. He's a little asshole. I killed him pretty easily this time, but oh my god, he, you see, he's, he gets right up on you. And he just kicks the shit up. Now I'm stunned. All right, all right. If he gets too close to you, you can't hit him because you're. It takes into account where you're trying to hit, and if he's in too close, you're hitting be behind him, so you're not actually hitting him. So you got to keep your distance and just kick the shit, low kick him. There's no way you can hit him if he's up high. Oh, he stunned me again. He killed me. The guy's a little asshole. All right. Kick the shit out of him. There we go. Stunned that little dick face. I can't even hit him, he's so thin. Stupid stick man. He's one of my favorite characters because he's such a little asshole. <laughs> Alright, killed him. He's worse though in the in, if you if he was like third or fourth. The computer gets so much harder. It just becomes obnoxious. Not that he isn't already. Alright. He's not falling, he's not dying. I think he's perma stunned. There he is. Okay. I like being able to push him around. You can push people when they're in the game, not stunned or stunned. Now I put all sorts of hidden features in here as well too. Uh, Stickman is one example of why I would want to have cheats and, and that sort of thing. <laughs> you see, he just kicks the shit out of you. God damn it. I'm trying to kill you. <laughs> I want to win. Oh fuck, he killed me. Little asshole. Blood's still falling from the previous match. Alright, I think I got him this time. You're better. It's two and two. Oh, she stunned me. Alright, alright, alright. Kill. I got it. Maybe not. I gotta keep a distance. Just gotta keep running away and low kicking. Almost got him, almost got him. Alright, I got. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I almost died there. Okay. He's dead. I'm victorious. Kicked the shit out of his dead body. Alright, alright. Oh, uh, another Ray one. It's random. And there's some weird glitch in there where sometimes it'll skip the first one, but at least it words you the the, uh, the kill. The throw. The throw is... I'm not exactly sure how you do it. It's something to do with forward and the button, and then you pull back as soon as you do it. Alright. Ray's starting to kick the shit out of me. He's pissed that I beat him up earlier. Might be time to enable the cheats. All the cheats are enabled uh, during pause mode. There's also some other little things in there as well. Alright. Killing you, Ray. Let's see if I can do the fatality. Just to get forward, back, down, in the butt. Nope. Now that the backgrounds are two live shows that we were doing. That one is like uh, Rochester, uh, the Water Street Music Hall, which became something else, but it's a large, large uh, stage, something like a thousand people venue. One of our favorite uh, venues and best shows took place there. And uh, I can't really tell what's going on there. Oh, God. Off the screen. All right. Ray's been pissed, obviously. Two and one. As you see, it's getting harder. And the thing about jumping in this game, if you're up in the air, you can get hit multiple times, someone can punch you multiple times. The longer your animation is, the more you can get hit, so when someone's up in the air, you can actually start punching or kicking them. And, uh, the computer takes advantage of that. It really kicks the shit out of you so easily. Alright, push you around. Try a fatality. Oh, missed. Alright. 
Fatality doesn't have any frames in any way. They just sit there and go, I'm Fatality, and nothing happens. I never. That's a lot of frames digitized just for that one move. And with a pause mode, I'm going to try and put. Okay. Pressing V turns on the television, a little TV in the corner. There's some stupid little thing I put in. Programming platform Amos you know, that as a sort of like a screen resize thing, so I put it in there just for fun. Then there's um, the uh, uh, God mode, which um, is secret. Uh, I, I might release the information if someone asks. And you type in something special, and then numbers one through eight are your um, your. Oh, I just killed myself. Shift one will drain all of your energy, so the next hit will kill you. <laughs> so I just gotta have one hit, and I'm dead. I I just killed myself. And uh, there's shift six or something awards you. It's an instant kill for the... Uh, oh, let's see if I can... Alright, I won. I hit shift 6, so I killed him with an instant kill, even though I was in the process of dying. Um, it's a good way to skip the levels. And here we go. Uh, there's different ones. One and two. Basically, it alternates... Player one, player two, player one, player two, player one, player two, player one, player two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And uh, so one would apply to it. All the odd numbers are for player one, all the even numbers for player two. Uh, you see, I've instance, I've perma stunned him by hitting shift four. Uh, and now he's constantly going to just be sitting there checking the videotape as he's a video camera guy beating you up with his video camera. That was always, you know, great. He's got the lunge punch. He's got the most complete set of moves in the game. I'm, I, I don't even have my punches in there. My punches are actually just grab. I, did, I do like my uh, jump kick. Alright, you dead. I'll kill you, Al. Alright, this is. Got the grab, got the throw. I think it's down to throw. I can't remember. Maybe back. I gotta grab and then press down. But even if you're trying to sit there, kick the shit out of someone, repetitive move, they still can get on you. So it's not gonna help you just to sit there. You keep moving around. Oh, he fucked me up. Good. Let's see what I can do here. There's different blood modes. Uh, if you notice now, the blood's not sticking. Now the blood's not happening at all with any of the hits. And then if you press pause, uh, press B again, it'll turn the blood back on. <laughs> Some of the blood was still stuck in Q. There's a blood Q. Alright. My, my best move seems to be... Oh, shit. I'm stuck. I'm getting the shit kicked out of me. Can only pull this off. Uh, nah, I'm not gonna do it. I don't think he's got me. My back kick. Oh yeah, there we go. That's the move for me. Pressing back in the button gives the uh, forward kick, and that one kicks the shit out of people. It's got great distance. You can keep far back so they don't hit you as much, and you just kick the shit out of them from a distance. But again, each player's got different hits, uh, hit spots, so uh, some players are good on close, some players are good on distance. And this was made modular, so it can handle up to 50 different players, uh, 50 different characters, and it's auto sensing. But uh, someone would have to know how to create the characters. Alright, I'm gonna kill you. Let's see if we get. Nope. No fatality. Well, that's pretty much it. Uh, escape brings you back to the main screen, and uh, escape takes you out of the game. So it's a pretty straightforward game.